Yo. Yo, what up, fam? Peace, peace. Scumbag Diggs. Welcome to Strictly for My Diggers, season four, episode five. Yo, thank you for having me, family. Oh, you already know, man. You know, um, I'm just now getting familiar with you. You know, I heard some of the joints with the Rico Sama. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with um Tom Geese, a mafia. You know, I started, you know, doing knowledge or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I want to bring you on so we can, you know, chop up and talk some beat science. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So where, where you checking in from? I'm from, I'm originally from Neptune, New Jersey. Okay. Up in Rawway up north a little bit now, though. Oh, okay. Where, where? Um, so Neptune is like that's like the shore, right? Yeah, that's right on the shore, pretty much. Yeah. Wow, are you familiar with Red Bank? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. I'm like maybe like 15 minutes away from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people's I deal with they they from they from Rule Born. They call it Red uh, Rule, uh Red Bank Rule Born or whatever. So that's like near um the big what's the major city over there? Um, Long Branch. As um, Park. Asbury Park, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that area over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. So scumbag digs with a name like that, I know you getting them, them, them fingers dusty. Yeah, right. Real grimy, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I see that. I see that. I see that. So, um, your weapon of choice. What are you? What are you making the grid on? Right. Well, straight simply, uh, FL Studio. FL. Okay. Uh, still on FL Twenty. That mm -hmm. um and um M Audio Key Station, and I get busy. Right, right. Now let me ask you: Did did Knife Wonder influence you to use that? Because you know he was using that before he started right. making. Yeah, well, he's he's a big influence. He's a mm -hmm. big influence. Him and um, even though he didn't, he doesn't use the um, he doesn't mm -hmm. use FL, but Alchemist still. Alchemist is one of my favorite producers, so he influenced me to produce a lot. Yeah, yeah. Alchemist started with the. Uh, I think he was he was using the ASR ten. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Now, do you do you have any plans on moving on the hardware, or are you good with what you got? Uh, right now, it's been so long, bro, and I've been so comfortable, honestly, being honest. Mm -hmm. It's so it's so convenient for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like when I um me and Rick been talking about uh, a little studio space. So when we do that, like that's when I plan on you know what I'm saying moving a lot of hardware and all that. But mm -hmm. for right now, I'm just I'm really sticking with what I got using a gaming PC mm. and just, wow. just with that. Yo, that's, yo, that's, that's just dope right there. That's dope right there. So is that the first piece of equipment you started with? That felt? I've been using that since it's been like a cool 15 years, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's not, not the, not the very beginning of the FL mm -hmm. Fruity Loops or whatever, but mm -hmm. uh, close to the start of it. Right. Right. So how's the workflow on that joint? For me, that's what that's that's why I use it so much. Cause for me, it's just, it's it's quicker and convenient for me, you know. Mm -hmm. But everybody different, and you know, with a lot of the sample choices I use, mm -hmm. I, I I bang out a lot of my joints right from 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 YouTube. You know what I'm saying, honestly, right, right. And I, I work with a lot of uh a lot of stuff that I don't think I could find nowhere else. You know what I'm saying, right, 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 right. So. so yeah. Okay. So when you dig for these samples, what do you what do you do? You have a you type in a specific genre. How, what is how does that work? Finding the samples. Uh, a lot of times for me, honestly, like I look, I don't even look towards regular like uh, regular music. I'm going mm -hmm. for like uh, for soundtracks, you know and I'm saying uh, movie mm -hmm. scores, mm -hmm. something with that rush to it. And you know I'm saying like mm -hmm. it's different. Like, you get a whole different feel from it. Even if you even if you don't know what you're looking for, and you want to just type in a movie like you think might give you a certain sound. You know and I'm saying mm -hmm. it's just easy. So, but, so I'm sorry, guys. So you saying like the, the the actual movie or the soundtrack from the movie? No, the, the movies and the soundtracks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But mainly the soundtracks. I do a lot. I I work with a lot of soundtrack from like uh a lot of French and different country artists. You know what I'm saying? A lot of uh Korean artists, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Just this is for a different sound. Got you. So now, are you mainly? A, do you consider yourself a looper, or are you more into chopping the shit up? Nah, I, I really, I chop a lot, I chop, but it can't, I don't know, I really, I really don't know where to consider, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But a lot of my joints, I, I do a lot of chopping though. So when you chop it, are you chopping it like 16, mo a bunch of pieces, or you got like, like four, four, five, four to eight chops? Nah, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I usually keep it slight with the chops, you know what I'm saying? But what yeah. I do with it is, I, I keep it. I keep it to like three or four chops, mm -hmm. and then I play over it. You know and I'm saying I throw something over it or whatever, just mm -hmm. to. But it's usually depending on what I'm working with. Right, right. So right. So when, now, now when it comes to like, you you digging, 
you don't have an idea what you're looking for. You just go in with a with a blank a blank canvas. Yeah, a lot of times, but yeah, like I said, a lot of times I'm I'm usually I'm I, if I want that rush, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm usually going for like movies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If I want some soul, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 digging for soul music. Right. So it's really just what I'm feeling for the day. Right, right, right. Now, do you have a sweet spot when it comes to them BPMs? Or they, you know, do you, you know, that you like to stick with them? Nah, it's crazy because now, right now, I feel like I've been trying to like slow it down a little bit. It's yeah. Crazy, like I speed it up, but but a lot of a, a lot of these records now they want like seventy, they want it in like the seventy range, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been I've been really trying to trying to aim for like a little lower BPM because I have right. a lot of my records be rushed, you know what I'm saying? I like that rush, bro. Right, 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 right. Because you know, I, I heard some of your beats. They remind me a little bit like heat makers. Right. Yeah. That type of that right. type of vibe. Yeah. So you saying you slowing it down? See, I know it's like when you slow the beats down. I like it because the art you can understand what the, the MC is saying. Yeah. And it doesn't sound like he's trying to keep up with the beat. Right, right, exactly. That's like them slower, and it, and you get that the more grit out of it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I want you to feel, you feel it more. Yeah, you feel it more when it's slowed down. So right now you're saying you're sticking between like seventy and maybe eighty BPMs. Right, I'm trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I lose myself when I still go crazy, you know. But that's right. just in your mind. But when I'm when I when I'm thinking about the artists, I definitely mm -hmm. try to slow it down because that's what they want right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You give them with the artists what they want, right? Right, definitely. So, how many tracks are you banging out a day, though? To, to be honest, with everything I got going on, bro, mm -hmm. I, I usually only I, I, I be trying to do like two a day. Okay, so like two a day, then I come mm -hmm. back to them. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, mm -hmm. and finalize them or whatever. Right, right. But cool. yeah, one, I usually only get to them once once the kids are sleeping, and sit like that. Right. But right. Yeah. Okay. So so. Each beat, when you break the beat down, how many tracks is each of your beats? It depends. It depends, bro. Honestly, mm -hmm. but usually, I, I I'm usually only working on like five or six tracks. Right, 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 right. So, how do you know when the beat is done? And because you don't want to overproduce, but you don't want to under underproduce either. How do you know when it's done? And that's the, that's and that's a lot. A lot of times, that's what I've been dealing with, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like over. Overdoing the beat or not doing the beat enough, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But so now I usually I get somebody else's opinion on it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I I deal with so many artists. Well, not so many artists, but you know, a lot of people around me as artists. I just get their opinion on it. And usually they they gonna give me their honest opinion, tell mm -hmm. me how they feel, especially right. you know what I'm saying, because so, we work the most together. Right. So if he feel like the beat is done and he you know what I'm saying, and that's and he the probably the person that's doing the beat. Mm -hmm. No matter how it sounded like, we're going to rock with it. Right, right, right. Because, you know, a lot of times when it comes to those beats, the MC is the last instrument. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it don't, especially like, like nowadays, we're dealing with a lot of lyrical MCs that can rhyme yeah. within this underground. So, you know, they don't really need a whole lot. Sometimes you, you can, you, you got to leave room for them. You know what I'm saying? yeah. And I've been up. That was a problem because I, I was rapping before. I, um, before I was making beats, bro. Right. So it's, I get in there and and I get in my mind with it. And I right. Just about the artist more, you know what I'm saying? Like right. instead of what I, what I like. Right. Right. So do you find like since you used to MC that you know what an MC wants to rhyme over when you when you give these beats to your artist? You know, like they gonna want to rhyme over that because I was an MC at one point, right? Is that how you? I'm trying to shift it more to that. It was more so I know what I want to rhyme on. I was I was just making joints I wanted to rhyme on. And right. I, I, I had to stop thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and I started thinking more about what these what these rappers want. And I'm saying I'm trying to get more in the loop. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta give them what they want, and you gotta give them what the people want to hear. Right. So now with all with, with your beats, do you feel like all your beats have to have a baseline in it, or can you get away with not having a baseline in your beats? Now I feel like I, I feel like they don't all have to have a bass line. I'm, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's, it's all about how it's sounding. Right, right. So you don't have to get all technicals. You're basically a feeling producer. You go by the feeling and how it feels. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. It's, no doubt. A lot, of joints, a lot of joints. To be honest with you, I I throw a bass line in the joint and I might take it out. 
Right. If I'm not feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Or So where do you get the bass line, the bass sounds from, though? Is it already in the Fruity Loops program, or are you going to wreck it, or are you going online to get it? Oh, nah, 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 I'm, I'm playing them out. Oh, on the keyboard. You, you, yeah. So you have the keyboard, and you play it out. Yeah. So or, how- or, or, or if I'm feeling the bass in a record, you know what I'm saying? If, I'm, if I got a dope sample, I might up the bass in a sample, you know what I'm saying? And play, right. with, it with, the, uh, play with it with the kick and let it lay on the kick nice, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So with the with now when you play the bass line, how do you make it match the sample? Because you know it's a difference between, you know, playing it out that that the, the tonality wise to make it you know blend in with a sample. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. I usually just tweak it for a little while. Right, right. Cause you know that bass line you're playing is not sampled. You're actually playing now, it. I'm, I'm most of mine's eight, a good eighty percent of them is, is I'm playing them out. Or right. if if not, it's in a sample. You know what I'm saying? I've yeah. I have beats that I've Tweak them in a sample, and mm-hmm. you know, boost them a little bit, and if it sound good, right. Now, have you ever sampled yourself playing the bass line and then put it in? Nah, nah. Because I think you could do a lot more with a sampled sound. Like you were playing the bass line, you sampled yourself, you know, playing the bass line, and then put it in. You can really tweak it. Wow. You really, really make it like you know what I'm saying. Keep that that same. You have that contrast. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So when it comes to drums, where you, where the drums coming from? Are they coming off record? Are they coming online? Or do you have, like, sample packs? No, oh, nah, yeah. Usually just, just the overall collection of um of drums I just mm-hmm. put together, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's Flash. I got a lot of, like, a lot of drums, a lot of kits that I made myself. Right. From other kits and or, or, or other records, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I try to stay away from the... uh the loops and all that. You, wh- why don't you like the loops? I, I like them a lot, but a lot of times it's just, it's, just I, it's not what I, I just don't feel them, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's hard for gotcha. me to find find them that I really feel, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I do have records where I use loops. Right. So with some of the, so with the drums, it's kick, snare, hi-hat for the most part, right? So you're, you're tapping the drum out. Yeah. So how do you keep the drums from being boring? Because I'm not a drummer, you know what I mean, and things like that to, to keep it, you know, because yeah. instead of that boom, 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 you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I feel with, like, to me, using a break or loops, so or even if you chop up the break, you can really get busy with it, and you're using their rhythm. Right, yeah. Like, uh, give it right. that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and... and, and I know it's like when when I was tapping in that finger drum, and like I said, it started getting boring. That boom, 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 boom. How do you how do you keep yours from being boring or stale? It's just you got. For me, honestly, I just gotta feel them. Like like I don't mm-hmm. know, maybe because I used to rap, so like mm-hmm. I'm just stuck in my ways. You know what I'm saying from what right. I want to hear, but that, that that could be a good or a bad thing, I guess. But a lot of times mm-hmm. it's just me just feeling them. You know what I'm saying I just gotta right. feel them. Just or sort of it, out, yeah. It, Point where I'm like, I can't work with it. Then I, that's when I usually mm-hmm. go in for the loop. But a lot of t- a lot of times, like I said, now I'm I'm I'm, I'm opening my mind up. I'm right. trying to work with different artists. Know what I'm saying so. I'm like I'm mm-hmm. more open to all that instead of just being on some grimy. Know what I'm saying dirty yeah. shit. With, you know what I'm saying with everything mm-hmm. just grimy and just simple. Like right. So with the drums, are you laying the kick first, snare next, on you know, or are you banging it out like ba boom boom bat, or is it ba boom? Boom, the next track, next track. I usually start with my snare. I usually okay. snare, uh, snare my hi hats. Mm-hmm. But it's usually the snare, then I go into the hi hats. Right, and I right. Try to freak the hi hats more, you know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like that sounds better on the drums, even if the drums are a little more simpler. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, would you when you're playing with the velocity and all that with the uh, hi hats, right? Especially when you're listening from headphones or something, you know what I'm saying? It right. Sounds- mm-hmm. Right. So when it comes to making the beats, what 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 starts first, the sample or the drums? For for me, they're usually the sample. The sample. Okay, so you start with yeah. the sample first. I, I, yeah. I spent days just searching for samples a lot of times, but mm-hmm. I guess I just love samples and that much. You know right. What I'm right. Right. Was me. I fluctuate. You know what I mean. A lot of times, sometimes I started. It used to be like starting with the sample, but then I start with the drum. It all depends. Like if I start with the sample and I get a nice loop. Then you know I'm usually gonna finger drum the the the, uh, the drums, but if I find a nice break, 
and I chop that break up and freak how I want, then I can, you know, and get it rocking, a pattern rocking. And I learned that from Alchemist, actually, because he said he used to start with the sample uh, at one time. And then now he said he starts with the drum with the drum. You can demo the sounds over the drums and shit. Nice, nice. Yeah, that was like really, really, really dope with how he was um how he was doing it. Now, are you a fan of like drumless beats? I'm getting into, it, I'm getting into it because that's what they want. That's another thing they want, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They love it. And yeah. I, I've made, out of all the beats I made, probably maybe mm -hmm. four are drumless. Right. Uh, and so I never, I'm new to it, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to. Right, right, but you, you, you seem like you got that personality that you want that the doom, 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 that that stomping yeah, yeah. at you type shit. Hey, yo, it be joints like like my man hit me and he be like, yo, can you take the drums off? Like, <laughs> yeah, you be like, nah, man, nah. Yeah, you know, like, man? Right. So, have you ever had a made a beat and you like, yo, this is a chick song right here, or this is a story track, but your man goes off and does something totally different, still might be dope. But it's like, nah, you didn't have that in mind when you made the track. Nah, not really. No? Because my shit just that dark. And like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, you right. had no choice but to, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, mean, okay, I got you. Because I know, you know, as, 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 as beat makers, we're also artists in our own right. So at times we might make a joint and like, yo, this joint is a storytelling joint, a criminal crime storytelling joint. But instead, he goes off and he spits some old just, just braggadocious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or better yet, have you ever had a situation where, yo, you want him to come in here, but he comes in on this part? Yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Where you're like, nah, you're supposed to come in right here. Yeah, that has happened. And then and I'm saying that kind of, I feel like that kind of threw the whole, I'm saying the whole beat off because of the whole song because mm -hmm. you know what you want to, what you wanted to hear, what you were supposed to hear. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? But it happens. But maybe I guess that comes in, that falls in the communication. Right, right, right. So the artists you're working with, most of them you're working with them in the studio or you just emailing beats out? Now, a lot of times, I'm, a lot of, a lot of shit is getting emailed out nowadays. Right, 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 right. So you don't get to play the real producer the role. Yeah, it's not the same as like I was doing it maybe like, you know what I'm saying, 10 years ago or whatever. Right, right. When you got the artist next to you or whatever, and then you'd be like, nah, say it like this. Yeah. Freak it, freak, freak it like that. They 250 miles away or something crazy, you know what I'm saying? That we talking over yeah. Instagram. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you when you when you send out beats, are you sending out like stems broken down or you just give them the beat and they just two track it? Nah, I usually if, if they want the stems, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, which most people do. But mm -hmm. I usually just send out the beat just so just to make it easier, you know what I'm saying? You can go through them. I send a pack out. Right. And you can go through them and then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. Cuz a lot of times they want to hear whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? If it's 50 beats, they want to hear them. They right. They want to hear beats, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So when you send them those beats or whatever and shit like that, they take them as is and just roll with it. Now a lot of uh, they do be wanting the stems, you know what I'm saying? They do want the stems, but I will send them out MP3 form or whatever real quick, just so you can hear the beat. Right, right, so, right, right. True indeed. But True indeed. yeah, like some people want the stems. They definitely be wanting the stems if they really uh, like, like you know who want the stems, who don't. You know what I'm saying, yeah. like, but I know really nowadays a lot of artists are taking the beat as is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And rocking because they said you know a lot of times if the beat sound dope, they not even worry about. The stems right. and breaking it down like that. I noticed that because it costs a lot to really get a record really mixed. Right, yeah. Nowadays. And the nowadays with I noticed with the equipment nowadays, the the joint the joints are sounding more crispier versus when I had the MPC 2000 XL. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I just noticed that that part or whatever. So you work with A Mafia and all how do these these relationships come about? Are you just giving out beats to them and just reaching out and giving them beats? Or they yeah. come to you? They're usually reaching out. A lot, most of them, if not all, reaching out. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to work and trying to build relationships. Like, yeah. I, I met A Mafia and I was like 19. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was around. I, I wasn't making beats for too long. You know what I'm saying? And right. he, heard, he heard the uh, a joint I did for him called Before I, uh, Before I Met Cameron. Mm -hmm. I sent him that beat. And from mm -hmm. there, it was on. Like, he treated me like a little brother. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I had made like four or five other joints for him. Mm -hmm. So how did he, how did he hear your how did he hear your beats to reach out? Was it on social media? Back in there, we talking back in um in MySpace days. Oh, saying? okay. Right, right. 
uh, the emails in the in the little biographies or whatever. I send out beats to everybody. Right. Right, and you didn't care about getting money from it. You just wanted to get on and get your name out there. Just to, just to hear, just because I love the sport that much, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. love it so much. Like, I would love to hear at that time, hey, Mafia on my beat or something. So I went crazy when I heard him on them beats, you know what I'm saying? And that record did so good. That was on, like, every mixtape, you know what I'm saying, at the time for that year. Right, 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 right. So would you say the best way to get your name out there is not to be afraid to just give out tracks? I mean, you, you, it's different now. Then mm -hmm. I'm saying, like, we didn't have the uh, the, the Apple Music and all that. And I'm saying it was straight mixtapes. He wasn't making no music off the record, just like I was. And I'm saying, so like, it's different mm -hmm. now. Like, you got to make sure you uh, you eating off these records too. Mm -hmm. But I would say that's a, that you. It's no way around it, really. You know what I'm saying, right. if you want, if you want people to hear your beats, right, and get yourself out there. Or now, what a lot of people are doing is a lot of these rappers is charging for placements. So if mm. you really want to know what I'm saying, you really want to get these rappers on your beats. You don't even got to send out packs. You just got to have a couple dollars and send out right. the beats. Done, you mm. know what I'm saying? Right, right. Now, Rico Sama, is that someone you, you came up with? I, I met Rico when I was in, like, the eighth grade. Okay. Sixth grade, sixth grade. We was, like, 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And we started rapping. You know what I'm saying? I started rapping when I was rapping with him. Right. And then right. The so, right. So do you think it's... Maybe even better just to find an artist that you can build with and get in that help. Y'all both get each other out like that. Yeah, yeah. You think it's better I, that way? It's just different. Like, it's just mm -hmm. different from working with other artists and then working with him. It's just different because I already know what, like, we was rapping on the, the same. We was looking, searching for the same type of beats 15 years ago, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, right. I know when I make a beat, I know if he, I kind of got a feel if he going to like it or not. And he'll still be like, man, send him shits anyway, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, yeah. I, I kind of know what he want, you know what I'm saying? So it is a little easier, like, we mm -hmm. get straight to the point. I might I might make two or three beats and send mm -hmm. them to him, and he, he definitely going to like two of them, you know what I'm saying? Right. I know that's what he was, that's what he liked. Right, 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 right. Now, as a, as a, as a, as a beat maker, do you plan on making your Dr. Dre Chronic album? When I say Dr. Dre Chronic, are you familiar with the Chronic? Yeah, yeah. But Dr. Dre, so your are you do you plan on making a producer album, where you're producing the whole album? You have different artists coming to rhyme over your beats. Oh yeah, I'm working on that now. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the it now. It's called. That's where I, I dropped the um I dropped the instrumental uh uh EP last month. Right. I saw that. Barcelona, and this this album gonna be called uh 92 in Barcelona, and I'm saying so that was kind of just like give them something for before that come out. But okay. I'm in the middle of that now. Mm -hmm. So the first one was instrumental. Now the second one is that going? That's going to be oh, artist. Yeah. It's over my beats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's going to be ill right there. That's going to be yeah. ill. Yeah. You gotta, it's about October. Mm -hmm. I, I want and I'm I'm shooting for like the summer to drop. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Got you. So you and Rico Sama got a project. But yeah, me and Rico, we dropping um. Uh, mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, uh, Wednesday, I think that is the fourteenth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely keep keep me in the loop with that. I definitely want to um definitely want to hear that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I said, I didn't know much about you. I just heard that joint y'all did. I had a video for something. Um, I heard. I was like, yo, scumbag, and then the name scumbag digs. I was like, yo, I already know this dude. Just said how grimy the beats was sounding or whatever. I was like, yeah, let me get him up on here. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he worked with two. Uh, he worked with a lot of other producers, too. So, like, you might have heard him on somebody else's shit, but... Yeah. yeah. And then with this EP, bro, this EP is fire right here. I've been yeah. listening, like, crazy, like, to the point I had to, I had to put it away, like... So, <laughs> I'm saying, I, <laughs> I ain't go crazy with it. Right, 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 right. But, yo, before I let you go, I right, you seen Drink Champs, right? Yeah, I've, had, I've seen I that. All right, so we're going to play a little game. We ain't got no liquor, right? But I'm going to say some names, and you got to choose one. You can't say both. Right. Got to choose one. Okay. All right? So we ready to start? Yeah. Some of these people you might not have heard of is cool. You'd be like, I ain't never heard of them. All right, the first one, Clipto or Nicholas Craven? Never heard of them. Never heard of them? All right, number two, Derringer or Camouflage Monk? Derringer. Derringer. Sadu Gold or Conductor Williams? Conductor Williams. All right. 
Spanish Ren or Retrospect? Spanish Ren. Spanish, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Spanish Ren is sick with it. You are. Sick with it. All right. Jay Dilla or Mad Lib? Damn. Um, I'm going to say Jay Dilla, bro. All right, cool. Jay Dilla, word up. All right. DJ Muggs or The Alchemist? Alchemist. Alchemist. All right. DJ Premier or Showbiz from Showbiz and AG? DJ Premier. All right. Eight. Kanye West or Just Blaze? Uh, Got to choose one. Uh, Kanye West. Kanye West. All right, cool. Denny LaFleur or J.R. Swift? Uh, J.R. Swift. I don't know what the other one is. Yeah, <laughs> Denny LaFleur is down with Griselda. All right. Okay, Diamond yeah. D or Large Professor? Large Professor. Yeah. Diamond D or Large Professor. You choosing Large Professor? Yeah. All right. True Cypher or The Standouts? I don't know who The Standouts is. True Cypher. Okay. True Cypher. All right. Number, last one. Stu Bangers or Vanderslice? Uh, Stu Bangers, because I've been rocking with Stu Bangers for, for a minute now. Yeah, they, Stu Bangers is nice. Yeah, they both, they both ill. They both very, very ill. Oh, yeah. Right they both, they both very, very ill. So let me ask you a question. So outside of working with Rico Sama and all these other artists, how do you feel about selling beats on like Beat Stars and things like that? Is that your thing or not really? It's cool, mm -hmm. but I feel like right now the biggest and best platform to sell beats on is Instagram, bro. Right on Instagram. Okay. That's right. where I, for me. That's where the most like mm -hmm. people hit me up and the most traffic. I suppose these other spots. Right. So, are you selling the beat straight up, or is it like they 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 have exclusive rights, or they leasing the beat? How do you do it? A lot of a lot of rappers they want exclusive right now, though. Mm -hmm. so I try to. It's, that's a battle too. Like we're keeping that. You know I'm saying keeping it to where you want to keep the artists keep keep them coming back, but you don't want to. You know I'm saying like sell yourself short. So, a lot of times for a long time I was just straight leasing beats but for the low. You know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. I might lease the same beat. 30 times, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. now I feel like I'm I'm more into the, the exclusive joints, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So when so hypothetically, an MC hears your beat on Instagram, right? And he wants to buy that beat. Now, is there paperwork involved? Or you just hear just PayPal me, hear your beat, do your thing? Usually just it's just mm -hmm. I don't know, it's usually just a uh oral contract, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then like for a while, I was selling beats on. I was using SoundClick. You know what I'm saying so, like the contracts, like what I had the contracts and all that already on. You know and I'm saying right, right. Now with sample clearances, would they be responsible for it, or are you responsible for it when they, when as far as buying, when they buy the beat, is that their responsibility if they want to clear the sample? If you want to clear the sample with me, that's mm -hmm. your that's your responsibility, like. I don't know, just depending on who I'm working with. And I'm saying I haven't really worked with too many artists that even, to be honest with you, was mm -hmm. dealing with that. You know what I'm saying? Like Right, right, but, right, 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 right. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, scumbag digs, man. I appreciate you for chopping it up with me and whatnot. You know, I know it was Super Bowl yesterday. I said, Oh, it's Super Bowl tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> and whatnot. I know you had the kids or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. We'll try it again the next day. And I'm glad you jumped on and checked in with me. Excited, you know what I mean? bro. Word yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. My whole thing is like this: if you're dope, eventually I'm gonna hear who you hear about you, or I'm gonna right. find out about you because I'm always keep my ear to the street. I'm always looking for the next dopest producers and things like that. And this is what this platform is for. You know what I mean? To Thank celebrate you. and things like that. Um, beat makers, I think, is dope. You know, to get in their ear. I mean, to get in their mind and 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 hear how they you know finesse things and make things work. You know what I'm saying? And it's also teaching, you know, the people out there who want to do what you do. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's each one teach one, you know? So this is definitely a dope platform. This is a dope thing you're doing for them. Yeah, yeah. Have you, have you, have you checked out some of the, um, some of my work? Yeah, yeah, I was. I was on your, I was on your YouTube, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know what I'm saying? This is beat maker to beat maker conversations. This ain't no generic, you know what I mean? That's why when you, when you told me to check it out and I seen it, I'm like, oh yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely, you know, I love to do this. Because this yeah, is yeah. what I do. Sampling? Right. I love the most about it, bro. Like I said, I spent a lot of time finding these samples, and I'm saying and digging for these samples. So I'm happy to be here on this. Word up. I appreciate you. So on that note, man, I'm gonna say peace. All right, bro. Salute. All right, peace.
Get your lungs ready, yo. Exotic art, melodic thoughts from the dark side. Separate from the weak like apartheid. We shed light, get spark die. Fly like a hawk in the dark sky. Exotic art, melodic thoughts from the dark side. Separate from the weak like apartheid. We shed light. Your spark god, fly like a hawk in the dark sky. Alkaline rhyme, front line on the drum line. Don't cross the gun line, you will get shot. No vaccine, unclean hip hop. You can scheme and plot. The steam don't stop, the water hot. Bubbling right out the pot, cream rises to the top. The proof is in the pudding. You can't take the heat when we in the kitchen cooking. Bump heads with the gods, get your soul cooking.